So the endocrine system has endocrine glands which keeps the crins which is Greek you know for secretions inside the body and similarly you have the exocrine glands like the salivary glands or the sweat glands which we spoke about that send stuff outside the body so one more difference between these two is that the endocrine system glands don't have ducts which means that stuff that it secretes mixes with the blood and acts usually at a different place from where it is secreted it is not localized the term is localized okay and then the exocrine system glands usually have ducts which secrete stuff outside the body and usually you know this is important at the site where it is produced so it's localized Ex endocrine glands they are not localized I hope the difference is really really clear now the endocrine glands produce some other hormones which I'll just cruise you through in later classes we'll go through each one of them in much much more detail all of us at some time or the other have got butterflies in our stomach be it just before that important exam when you're taking part in a running race when you're watching a scary movie or even when you are in that roller coaster ride in that fun theme park can you actually remember the changes that happen in your body at that time your heart starts beating faster yes your eyes open really really wide you start becoming really pale you start breathing faster you're much more alert than usual and you feel like something is rushing through your body am i right what is rushing through your body is a hormone called adrenaline a hormone secreted by the adrenal glands of your body Let's check out some more important hormones. First up, you have the master blaster gland, the pituitary gland that's in your brain, the control center of your body. The pituitary gland is called the master blaster gland, the big boss. I'll tell you why very soon. It sends out most of the chemical orders or instructions through your body. That's why it is so important. It's kind of like the king of all the glands because it produces hormones that instructs other glands to then produce other hormones. And finally, the work which has to happen gets done. Now, this is a very, very, very tiny gland the size of a pea. But it produces the growth hormone which we spoke about earlier and which makes cells and other organs, other parts of our body as big as they could get. They also, it also secretes other hormones as we discussed previously. But growth hormone is one of the important ones. Look at this man here. His name is Robert Wadlow and he is the tallest man we have in modern day. He was a staggering 8 feet 11 inches and that was because he was a pituitary giant. We now know that there was a tumor in his brain. So what the tumor did was push on the pituitary gland, make him overproduce this growth hormone and also make him as tall as he actually got slide down a bit and then you have these little beautiful butterfly shaped glands in your throat and those would be the thyroid glands they secrete a hormone called thyroxine this is important because a deficiency of this hormone can cause an inflammation of the thyroid gland and that is called a goiter you might have seen people with you know a swollen neck right they may be a victim of goiter which is happening due to less thyroxine and then the adrenal glands called the kidney hats you can tell me where they're located because of the name yes just above the kidneys and a very interesting thing about adrenal glands the adrenal glands change size throughout life in the seventh month of the fetus development the glands are roughly the same size as kidneys itself at birth the glands have shrunk slightly and will continue to do that throughout life in fact by the time a person reaches old age they are so small these glands are so so small they can hardly be seen so can you guess one of their functions based on their location one another function they play a role in maintaining salt levels in kidneys and are also important as we discussed before for the secretion of a very famous hormone called adrenaline